Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson, we will be solving equations that have a negative variable. So you can see the example there, 15 minus x equals 13. In all the examples we'll see in this lesson, we will have a negative variable. So what to expect? Negative variables. And practice, practice, practice. That's what we're going to be doing today. Let's look at some equations that have negative variables to start off with. 17.3 minus a equals 19. Negative x plus 4 equals 104.5. 5 minus x equals 6. 7 minus n equals 13. Negative b plus 12 equals 13. These are examples of equations that have negative variables. So this is how you solve an equation that has a negative variable. You just solve like normal. So you will find the variable, find out what's connected to it, and undo those other numbers using the inverse operations. Um, after you solve like normal, then you will end up having a negative variable on one side of the equation and a solution on, on the other side. If you divide by negative 1 to both sides, or in other words, change the signs of both numbers, then you will get a final solution with a positive variable, and that's what we're looking for. And the, the rule basically for dividing by 1 is essentially that you're changing the sign, because 2 divided by negative 1 would give you negative 2, or negative 2 divided by negative 1 would give you positive 2. So if you divide both sides of the equation by negative 1, or you could multiply both equations, both sides, times negative 1, it will do the same thing. It will just change the signs of the terms on both sides of the equation. Let me show you an example. If I have this 15 minus x is equal to 13. I'm going to solve like normal. Where's my variable? It's right there. What happened to it? Now this is a little tricky because you have 15 minus x. So what's connected to my variable? And what's connected to my variable is a plus 15. That's a positive 15 that's connected to my variable. That's important because we're going to subtract 15 from both sides of the equation to get rid of that 15 because 15 minus 15 is 0. If we added another 15, we would have 30 over here, and that doesn't help us solve the equation. So let's go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides of this equation. 15 minus 15 is 0 leaving us on the left side of the equation with negative x is equal to, and on the right side we have 13 minus 15, which is negative 2. Negative x equals negative 2. My next step is that I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negative x times negative 1 gives me positive x. Negative 2 times negative 1 gives me positive 2. Look at that. Now we have a positive variable and a solution to our equation. x is equal to 2. We can always check our work. Is 15 minus 2 equal to 13? And it is. 15 minus 2 is equal to 13. I did that with this equation. It's a little bit more of a simple equation just to show you the steps and show you that the steps do work. In our future practice questions are going to be more complicated and it's really important that we follow the steps that are outlined here. Speaking of practice, here's your first practice equation. Negative a plus 13 equals 16 plus 21. Go ahead and pause the recording, solve that one on your own. Welcome back. The first thing to do with a, an equation like this is to simplify the right side of the equation. 16 plus 21 is 37. Let's make it as simple as possible. We're already working with complicated ideas. Let's not make it any worse. All right, now I look at my equation. Where's my variable? A, or in this case, negative A, right? Um, what happened to it or what is connected to it? What's connected to it is plus 13. So I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides of this equation. 13 minus 13 gives me 0, so I'm left with negative a on the left side of the equation. 37 minus 13 gives me 24. So now I have negative a is equal to 24. I need to divide both sides by negative 1, and that changes the sign on both terms. Negative a becomes positive a, 
positive 24 becomes negative 24. So if I turn around and go back to this question right here, and I put negative 24 in there, it would be negative, negative 24, which gives me positive 24. 24 plus 13 indeed gives me 37. So you can see how that would work when we're checking. All right, some more. Go ahead, pause the recording. Try this one with some decimals in there. All right. I start out by simplifying the right side of the equation. 2 plus 3.6 is 5.6. Now I'm going to find my variable. B is my variable. What happened to B? Well, I have a negative 3 connected with B. Now, don't I? So if I have a negative 3 connected with B, I am going to add 3 to both sides of this equation. Adding 3 to both sides keeps it balanced. Adding 3 to this side undoes or gets rid of the negative 3. Positive 3 and negative 3, they eliminate each other basically. They cancel each other out. They leave me with negative b by itself on the left side of the equation. 5.6 plus 3 gives me 8.6. So negative b is equal to 8.6. I need to switch the sign on both of them, divide, negative, divide both sides by negative 1, and that switches the signs on both the variable and the number. For one last one I decided I'd put in pretty much all negative signs. Um, go ahead and try this one. If you can do this, you can do anything in life. Well, you can't fly. Unless you're a pilot. In that case, welcome. All right, let's take a look at solving this. Where's my variable? Oh, wait. I'm going to simplify first. Negative 9 plus negative 3 gives me negative 12. I've simplified my equation a little bit. Now I have nothing but negative signs. All right. So where's my variable? n is my variable. What is connected to n? Negative 4. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides of this equation. Negative 4 plus 4 gives me 0. So I'm left with just negative n on the left side of this equation. Negative 12 plus 4 gives me negative 8. I need to divide both sides by negative 1 so that I will have my final answer that n is equal to positive 8. And that is how we solve this type of question. A couple of tips. Work hard, solve questions, read, simplify, pray, try, and practice. You definitely need to do lots and lots of practice, and that will solidify it in your mind. I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.